Adam, hot topic. Um, chat GPT. Okay. So for everybody out there, uh, AI, Skynet, Terminator. So is it helpful, hurtful? Where do you think it is uh, in our business? Is this the Sarah Connor moment? I need Sarah Connor. <laughs> yeah. H is reference to shout out Arnold. Um, anyway, so Jack GPT. Well, I've been using it today, actually. I'm using it to summarize blog posts, help me do some writing. So I find it fantastic as a research tool. And I can't believe it's still free at the moment. I'm pretty sure that's going to go away. Now, I actually think it's a blessing and a curse in equal measures. What I What's the downside? I think it is going to decimate white-collar jobs the same way a blue collar jobs were decimated in the 80s and 90s. What I mean by that, if you're in a mid-level job, an administrator or anything like that, you're in trouble. A call center, you're in trouble. Uh, anything like that, it's a problem. If you are a creative or producing something, technical writing, writing books, writing anything, creating things, researching, this is a blessing for you. So let's talk about what that means in our job. Let's talk about commission and project management, right? So I think if you're a project manager, it's going to be a great tool to help you get rid of some of the work you don't like doing, writing reports, writing memos, writing minutes, scheduling. It's going to be good for that. And it's going to relieve you to do the stuff that you really should be doing, which is the leadership and soft skills stuff. So this is going to enhance people who are good at soft skills and leadership because it's going to take the dog work off them. The, okay, so from from my perspective as well, from teaching. So um, I, 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 I'm not going to say I, this, I, that, but let's just say that uh, New York city, the department of education reportedly, basically I'm reading this blocked access to chat DPT in December 22 and officially announced a ban around January 24th, 2023. If you typed in right now, GPT, chat GPT ban, it's happening everywhere. Right? So, and one of the things right here is because the AI tool, they're afraid the students will cheat. Okay. Um, yes. Okay. I'm a professor at, you know, at university, Arizona State University. And am I afraid that they're going to use it? Yes. Am I basically afraid that they're going to basically write a report with it? Yes. Is there tools to basically check to see if it was? Yes. But there are ways to get around that. Yeah. So do I think that it, it is basically hurt and helped the creative juices? Yes. So once again, I'm old school. You know what I mean? I'm in my forties, soon to be in the fifties, right down the road here. Um, we actually had to go to the library. We actually had to study. Like we, you know, we 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 have the phones, right? And you know, NASA in our hands. Now we have another device that basically just says, you know what? Boom! There's my report. There's my this. I have a feeling, just like smoking was banned slowly, right? I have a feeling this will all be banned. I have a feeling that screen time will be banned. Phones in classrooms, computers, like you know. I, I, it's been on the news every day for a long time with basically with COVID for the last three years that they gave kids um, iPads and phones and a lot of bad things were happening, right? Yeah. There's got to be some guidance to this. There can't just be like, here's an open avenue to basically, I don't want to call it cheating, but maybe it is because I, I believe that we're actually cheating the future generations of of what it is knowledge was to read, to be tangible, to understand it. But then again, maybe, you know, I'm going to be dust in a few years and maybe that's going to be the future. Um, but remember, though, they always say that it was created to basically help stop bad. Right. And I just I don't know. I I, I feel like the, like creative juices are in here and we are supposed to pull in everything we can. And when you I've used it before just to see what it's like and I type in something. Man, it can write a report. And then I can say, I'll make the report 1,500 words or 200 words. I can even say, give me a haiku. Give me a rap song. Like, you could do anything with it. It is insane. And I get scared. Not, I don't, I'm don't. i not worried about not having a job. That's not going to happen. I just... I, I don't know. Is, it a, is it a bit like when, uh, when I went to school, because I am old... And I did my math exams. We used log tables, square root tables. My first mentor used a slide, slide rule. And he was faster yes. than me on a calculator, right? So, and then slide rules went away and computers came along, right? So is this just the same thing? 
it only I mean, honestly, think about it. Like if you take this phone away and a computer away and you're in a classroom or you're in the field and you're you're looking at something, you won't have chat GPT. Yeah. You won't basically have, you know, phone a friend. You're yeah. gonna actually have to be able to do work as an engineer, architect, construction manager. You know, but maybe in the future they'll say, no, use that, use whatever you can. But where is the learning? Where is the wisdom? Where is the lessons learned? Where's, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I'll tell you what I think is going to happen, really. It's going to filter out the medium and also RAM people. So it's going to be awesome. If you're great at something, you're going to be even better. If you're average or lazy, good luck. It it could very well do that. So then that means that, so what, we're going to have <clears throat> even less labors, even yeah, less. So it's going to be a bifurcation. It's just going to further enhance the bifurcation between the can-dos and the want-to-dos. Well, right now, if you go to AI and you basically type in, give me a functional performance test for an air handler, <laughs> right? It could do that. But and like I said, it's amazing what it does and, and basically how it searches everywhere and finds something. But I just wish that this this this, this learning process, that's what scares me is how will people learn if you don't actually have to learn? Yeah, anything. so you're, you're shortcutting the learning process is what you're saying. Yeah. So in a way, what you're saying is it could make us a lot dumber, right? Yes. I I just hope that basically the, the way that you become wise -er or wisdom is basically <laughs> wisdom, right? I never thought about that, is, um, is you're actually in the field and you learn things and you see things and you experience things. I mean... Until, you know what, you never know. Musk's going to probably plant a chip in the back of their head. We're going to be all Neos like in the Matrix. But until that day, because I, I can't download how to fly a helicopter tomorrow, but I would love to. But um, That's the future of smartphones, man. Right about the future be, a little bit. The, the smartphones could be the size of a grain of rice one day and implant in your body, I think. And I guarantee right now, if we were, you know, this is going to go out there and, and you'll have a lot of commissioning, energy people, they've all used it. I mean, I've sat in conferences where, you know, some folks that are good friends of mine are like, I use it every day. I use this every day. Why aren't you? I'm just like, I, I don't want to get used to something that I think might not be there. And also, too, is maybe I'm like I said, I'm 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 old school. I still read. I still I mean, I like books, you know, like and I still like knowledge that was collected and. Yeah. I actually think books, hardback books, are going to be a great investment, alternative investment. I know. They're going to be like gold, right? I, yep. Like I said, Adam, every day we talk, it's just like, you know, maybe we're just getting old. We're not, you know, I'm adapting the future. I'm learning everything I can about controls, different, you know, like coding, you yep. know, I mean, going on and on and on. But it's just like, I don't think that it's just like, you know, just go to there, type it in, and there you go. I, I think that, you know, we still basically have to, do investigation we still have to look up other areas and we still have to like i said i don't think it's going away All I think right. so i'll summer up summarize my answer here to wrap this up then <laughs> i think net net there will be a net benefit because things will move on things will come faster better cheaper but there will be losers winners and losers there will be winners who adapt to it and use it to enhance their delivery and skills and there will be people who just won't and it will crush them but when last thing i'll say is when it comes to education i mean i i think they'll probably be i think they'll probably be a big ban on everything because i mean the, what i'm doing now is i basically have individual written tests i don't i i write my tests i give them i collect them no phones you can't take pictures of it it's almost like because you, you, you can't use that in class the only time you can use that is when you're by yourself at home and last time I looked, actually, when you want to take a national board test, um, you can't do it by yourself and you can't do it with your phone or your computer. So, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to mark this time. We're in Q1 2023. <laughs> we're going to revisit this question in Q1 2024 and see which way this, this wind seems to be blowing. Okay.